60 plus new weapons, armors, stratagems, you name it guys, for HAL Divers 2. Today we're getting to it all, so sit back, relax and enjoy the show. But hey people, my name is DPJ and before we go any further, the winner of my 2100 super credit giveaway is this dude you see on screen now. I ain't even going to try and pronounce his name because I'm just going to make myself look stupid. But if this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now guys, you want to win 2100 super credits? My winners are real, none of this fake giveaway rubbish you are seeing on YouTube. My winners are actually announced. So to win guys, simply drop a like on this video. That thumbs up really does help me and the channel out. Subscribe and turn those notifications on by hitting that bell button and leave a comment down below with your favorite emoji. But good luck everybody. Okay, so 60 plus new weapons, armor pieces, cloaks, boosters, I mean stratagems, we have it all today guys. We even have gameplay of some of these new weapons too. So let's get into it and we'll start with those very weapons. So all of these come from a Korean website. How they gained access to all this, I have no idea. I'm guessing they're dead among the game. Who knows? But let's go. So first up, we have a weapon coming with the next Warband. I believe it's 14th of March. And this one is called the Arc-12 Blitzer. This shotgun blasts a wide burst of high voltage electricity that arcs between all units, enemy or otherwise, within range. So yes, you're seeing a bit of gameplay of this on screen now. Next up, guys, you have the SG 8P Punisher Plasma, a modified Punisher shotgun firing explosive plasma rounds. Fire carefully. Exploding plasma can injure squad mates. Next up, we have the CB9 Explosive Crossbow. This one we have seen uh, in the past in regards to leaks, but gameplay you're seeing on the screen now. Fires powerful exploding bolts, which do maximum damage upon direct impact. Gravity must be accounted for when aiming. Pretty cool. Okay, so this next one is called the Eruptor. This bolt action rifle fires jet assisted gels that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact. Not recommended for close quarters use. Badass. Okay, so this next one is a last 16 sickle. Again, I think this is a part of the new Warband. Uh, a laser rifle firing in short bursts does not need reloading, but if it overheats, a new heatsink must be fitted. Okay, so next up guys, we have nothing other than the SG-225NS Breaker Nail Splitter. There's actually two of these variants of this weapon. Well, first up is the Nail Splitter, a modified Breaker Shotgun offering improved armor penetration and accuracy with exceptional high levels of recoil. Okay, cool. So the other variant is the SG-225BB Breaker Bug Biter, a heavy version of the Breaker Shotgun with higher damage at the cost of recoil and maneuverability. But the gameplay on this one is pretty limited but it is all that's out there at the minute. Next up guys we have the AR-20L Justice, a high caliber rifle with high damage and penetration. This is what we like to see and it looks Okay, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so next up we have the BR-14 Adjudicator, an accurate armor penetrating rifle. The BR-14 Adjudicator delivers righteous judgment to medium-sized enemies. Through its restrictive magazine, limits its effectiveness against large groups. Okay, so next up we have an AR-48 Truth Whisperer. This is a silenced weapon, by the way. It says here, a silenced assault rifle with a built-in suppressor which won't alert distant targets to the user's position. That's pretty cool, I won't lie to you. Okay, so next up we have the AR-22C Patriot, a compact assault rifle with an extremely high rate of fire. And you'll see a bit of footage of this on screen now. Okay, so next up guys, we have the GP31 Grenade Pistol, 
A pistol that fires grenades must be reloaded between shots. Now, I won't lie, this to me looks very, very interesting. I love the grenade launcher in game. Now, it's seriously, seriously useful. I think many, many players are sleeping on it. But a grenade pistol, this definitely excites me, I won't lie. Next up guys, we have another weapon from the new Warbind coming March 14th, the Laz 7 Dagger, a laser pistol that fires a continuous beam, does not require ammo but can overheat and need to charge batteries. So a little bit of gameplay you'll see of this on screen now. And finally here for weapons guys, we have two grenades. We have the G123. Fermite, looking pretty badass, a Fermite grenade designed to adhere to surfaces before burning at 2000 degrees centigrade. This small foe is capable of burning through some armor, that's what we like to hear. And then guys we have the G23 stun, temporary stuns all targets within the effective radius. Ok so we may as well move on to the stratagems, why the heck not. Ok so first up guys we have one, I actually covered um, probably about a week ago now, called the BX7 Displacer Pack. Listen to this, a portable teleportation device which activates the moment before the user would take a potential fatal blow. This is absolutely incredible, I'm not going to lie to you. So you'll call this down, you'll pull it on your back and this thing will trigger when you're about to die or take a fatal blow and it will teleport you to a different instance. I'm pretty certain of that. So yeah. That sounds pretty badass in my opinion, I will not lie. Next up guys, we have this one right here, um, it's called the Eagle Air to Air Missiles. Aspect seeking air to air missiles to eliminate most flying targets in the vicinity. Notice it says flying targets there guys, which we'll talk about in a few minutes time when we get onto the new uh, faction, the new enemy race, well I say new, new to this game, it's a part of How Divers 1, but yeah we'll talk about it in a quick second, but yes, a stratagem to take out those flying targets, pretty cool. Next up we only have an icon for this one but it is a heavy machine gun with 75 rounds but can be changed to 3 firing modes which is pretty cool too. Ok so we also have guys the GL21 grenade launcher, this is an incendiary grenade launcher which is pretty cool too, I mean I love the grenade launcher we have in game now like I said earlier, this one sets things ablaze which is what we love. We also have this guys which is medical supplies, not really um, a description of it here but guessing obviously, I'm thinking stims. Ok so we also have here guys the MS-220 missile silo which uh, the description reads, a halpod size missile silo for long range destruction, includes a remote to select a target and initiate launch. So I've actually seen a bit of gameplay of this but I couldn't rip it from this website. You basically call the stratagem down, you activate it, you point this like laser beam, the target whatever you hit launches this to that destination, simple as that but it does look pretty cool. We also guys have the uh, Quasar Cannon, I actually got a little bit of gameplay of this from a previous video, the quality ain't great so I apologise about that but this thing does look pretty badass I won't lie. And then guys we have this here. Here there was gameplay of this being called in and picked up but not being firing so I thought there's no point in including it here but yeah there we have it guys. So some awesome new stratagems there to look forward to. Now quick little inclusion of this new exosuit which is supposed to be a skin, uh, there wasn't much details on this I won't lie to you but all I know is that Lamborghini yellow looks pretty badass, mounted toes on each arm. Um, I'm not sure exactly where this will fit in, how you get this, if it is a skin or not, I do not know, but it looks badass either way, so I thought I'd include it people. Ok so on screen now you're seeing 5 pieces of that light arm, um, now a couple of these do not have names but a couple do, but hey you can pause the video and read through the stats, I mean a couple of them do have stats and armour passes tied to them and some of them do not, but yes guys, 5 pieces of light armour right there for you. Ok so now we have 14 pieces of that regular armour, this one straight up the TR40 Gold Eagle. This high visibility armour allows its bearer to be easily seen through smoke, fog and spewing viscera. Pretty badass I'm not gonna lie. Next we have the B01 Tactical. This armour is a super earth standard issue made from the same titanium alloy as the destroyer's hull. 
and there is a few different variants colors to this one okay so next up we have the b24 enforcer in fuel tests 84 percent of users said that this armor improved their posture and self-esteem <laughs> pretty badass okay so next up we have this cm06 combat medic this armor was designed by pfc rodney a comical the first hell diver to use a steam on an alloy instead of himself pretty badass armor passive is med kit nice we then guys have a few more that are not named i do like this one which is kind of like bone necklace around its neck pretty cool okay so next one here guys we have cm10 clinician featuring patented reverse cm technology to reduce the likelihood of bodily fluids entering the armor's interior pretty cool we then guys have the ce27 ground breaker the ground is just another obstacle that hasn't yet been cleared sgm janet jones evacuation corpse founder what we like to see guys we do have one more regular piece it's called the ex16 prototype 16 as the electric arc generates a strong magnetic field where we should avoid use while in the vicinity of stapled paperwork now this could be uh, tied to the uh, new war bond i think it may be actually i'll have to double check that but it does have a nice armor passive electrical conduct provides 95 percent resistance to arc damage so pretty cool that one next up guys we have five heavy armor pieces first up we have the cw36 winter warrior offering camouflage in snowy environments surplus sets of this armor are used by nature photographers and keen hunters alike okay so next up guys we have the fs05 marksman while early prototypes we use shock absorbent gels this armor stabilizes aim with the use of internal gyroscopes okay so this next one doesn't have a uh, a name to it we do see a nice little nuke symbol there pretty cool and uh, this next one here is called a cm17 butcher an arm often worn by frontline surgeons who are skilled at both putting bodies back together and taking them apart okay so lastly here guys we have the fs55 devastator contains many small pockets allowing the user to evenly distribute the weight of ammunition samples and cool rocks pretty badass okay so moving on from the armor and onto the 12 new cloaks first up we have the beacon of mercy we then guys have the wings of valor we then have the drape of glory we have the unblemished allegiance we then guys have the arbinger of true equality we then have the justice for all we have the eagle's fury the agent of oblivion the martyrous rex we then have the bot slayer and lastly the light of eternal liberty so those are the 12 new cloaks we know are coming sooner or later okay so next up guys we have two new boosters and first up we have localization confusion increases the time between enemy encounters now that one is seriously interesting i won't lie to you but this one gets even better expert extraction pilot lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon that one is also very very interesting and could also come in very very handy within your team so that's pretty cool too okay so next up guys we have a brand new enemy faction believed to be coming to the game now these have been there in mind the models are in the game but some of them do seem a little unfinished and these are the illuminate enemy faction players of how divers one uh, will know more about these than i will because i've never played how divers one but for those of you who just jumped into how divers two what these are according to the uh, how divers one wiki highly sophisticated their civilization has endured for several hundred thousands of years they call themselves the squiff does that say i'm not even sure originally aquatic these creatures dressed in ceremonial robes have managed to create a vast and extremely complex neural network for space travel the species have since taken their first tentative steps towards the stars, produced weapons of mass destruction in large scale, and as such, is something that the people of Super Earth cannot ignore. Now again, these are supposed to be super, super hard. I'm not going to lie, from what I've read on Reddit within the Helldivers 1, this is one of the hardest enemies you can face, and now they're coming to Helldivers 2. 
Now there are a few data mind image here of uh, enemies that people have tried to link to past how divers one illuminate enemies but nothing can be confirmed as of right now again some of these do look unfinished too so first up guys we have this swordsman dude i mean i looked on a wiki i couldn't see anything that resembled this but hey this dude looks absolutely monstrous and if that is a sword he's holding there's no doubt this dude is chasing you across that battlefield swinging at morphos trying to take your head off we also guys see this here which i'm just calling a call the big walker because i don't know what this thing is i've never seen something so big stabilized on three legs but hey this thing is going to step on your ass and a size comparison to the player this thing is utterly monstrous trying to run away from this thing isn't going to be pleasant we also guys see new flyers and remember what i said earlier about that new stratagem and now we are seeing new flyers too we see that and we also see this one right here now what these are i have absolutely no idea i do believe flyers are coming to the game but also in game now there are flyers obviously not that you can fight but you can see them in the background on certain maps and that so yeah these could be them but we also do know flyers are coming to the game due to that stratagem we also see this robot chappy look alike and this is supposed to be a friendly robot i do believe who may help you or guide you i can't confirm that it's just what i've read but hey we also see this big brute bastard this looks completely new from what i have seen and he looks absolutely terrifying at the same time let's not lie we have this right here which people are thinking it may be the observer from the illuminate uh, seen in how divers one from the images i saw it looks massively different my hair designs will change over time no two ways about that but then guys have this creature right here which people believe is the hunter so a little description of these utilizing stealth and gorilla tactics these soldiers use a long range high powered electro pulse gauntlets which vaporize the air at ranges up to 10 kilometers the static air is clearly visible to the eye and as such can be avoided before the actual projectile is fired so that is pretty awesome we also have this dude right here which is believed to be the apprentice now a little description on this dude truly devastating the apprentices are commonly found wherever the illuminate attacks their nano abilities are dangerous and used to incapacitate their targets before moving into melee range to slice up their enemies so that's pretty cool too now talking of slicing up that dude with the sword we saw earlier could be an apprentice too we just don't know yet we can't confirm it like i said these are just being associated probably guessing for a lot of the part and trying to match them to the how divers one illumina enemy faction and then guys we have the council members now a small description on these meeting one of these on the battlefield is a free pass to take out part of the threat presented by the illumina race so what i believe these are they're kind of like a puppet master controlling a mass amount of the illuminate in a certain vicinity take out the main dude and the rest die or flee that's kind of the gist i get here but yes guys there we have it that is the end of the illuminate enemy faction and what we have seen on them so far when they are coming i have absolutely no idea these are like i said dead in my files they're in the files but a lot of these to me definitely look unfinished so yeah i don't think it's going to be anytime soon but there we have it guys a ton of leaked new information guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more how divers be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one